Yeah, the funding for Magic Magic um, uh, supposedly was there. Michael Sarah was in Chile waiting for the funding, learning Spanish for Magic Magic. And I flew to uh, Santiago to start pre-producing with Michael and rehearsing and whatever scout location. And then, yeah, we got the bad news that the money fell through. And then we had to come with another plan. Michael was kind of ready to go back to California and I offered him to um, be part of this sort of more improvised uh, road trip movie, Crystal Ferry, pitch it to him. Then he liked it. And then I talked to Gabby Hoffman, who I had recently collaborated with. She was in Brooklyn and then she loved it. She and she flew down to Chile. Um, yeah, my friends, producers, uh, Pablo and Juan Larraín, that have a production house uh, called Fabula in in Chile, liked the idea. They liked the figure. It didn't seem that it was going to be so hard to recoup the money. It wasn't that much money either. And um, and yeah, that's how we put it together. We put it together really quickly. Like within two weeks, we sort of knew what we were going to do, and then it was going to be a very short. Sh production period too, like only two weeks or less. I mean, I had the, as I said, I had an outline and that's how I also convinced the producers because I, it's not that, I mean, I told them the idea first. They're like, sounds interesting. Give me something written at least, or like at least come to the production, come to our offices and like pitch it to us, like stand there and tell us the whole story with people in a room, you know, so we can see if there is actually a movie there. and. Uh, so that was like sort of my homework, and I and I did write a, a 10, 12 pages outline um, for the story with all of sort of like the the beats of of uh, the narrative, and like make sure that the my main characters had a pretty solid uh, narrative arc. Um, and then that I read in front of like yeah, whatever like I don't remember like 10 people in a table, and I was making stuff up as as I read and, but yeah, I was like sort of telling the story for an hour and everybody was laughing and kind of having fun and it, yeah, the producers were finally satisfied and was like, okay, yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, the the money for, uh, I mean, it's like a, it's a figure that makes sense. I mean, if you have someone like Michael Cera who's semi-famous and I've made, I had made a couple movies that had won awards before us and I'm known in this, in the festival circuit. So it's kind of a no brainer. It depends on the amount of money that you're going to be spending for the, the movie, you know, but it's like you put the pieces together and you kind of can foresee whether this movie will recoup or would be a total flop and you will be, you know? Uh, so yeah, having Michael and the story was fun and, um, kind of like a feel good movie and, uh, Kind of like all the pieces were there for them to feel sure that they were not going to lose their money, their investment, you know. Maybe not recoup the money within a year or a, like immediately after the release, but definitely recoup the money eventually, which is what they care about in independent, I guess, financing.